Well, I've got an eight foot ground rod in my hand. That could only mean one thing. We're fixing to put one in the ground. Stick with me. Hi, I'm Steve, AD4XT. Welcome to Ham Radio Portable. Well, my shack has been moved from the garage into the house, but I have yet to put a ground rod down. So it's time to do that. And I think I'm gonna use the method where you, uh, instead of pounding it in, see if I can use water and sink it in that way. So let's take a look at where I'm starting at. I'm starting out with the post hole diggers. So I can go ahead and get this hole down to about three foot, two and a half, three foot, before I even get started with the rod. That's pretty straightforward there, so I'm at two and a half foot, so. That way I can fill the hole up with some water and get the soil soaking, but seems pretty good, so let me get started with the, with the ground rod. Okay, here is a look at the hole down inside. It's about two and a half, three foot. I filled it up with some water, part of it. And uh, I'm lucky the ground's not so hard right here. I can actually can push it down about the first uh, eight or 10 inches. You can actually push this down about about 12 inches from the from the start so hey maybe this won't be so bad I'm gonna mark it with some uh, tape to kind of tell me if I'm making any any distance here Yeah, working pretty good. It will give you a workout though. I'm having to resist my temptation to getting the sledgehammer and just pounding it the rest of the way. I've got the rod down into the ground about, I would say about seven and a half foot now. I'm at this point here. Came up with the idea of putting some vice grips on it because pulling it up and down gives you, gives you something to mash down with gives you a better grip to pull it up too. I think I'm going to put the hammer to it at this point. I'm not going to go down but to about right here anyway. Took me about 15 minutes to go this far. It's hammer time now. I think that's about as far as I want to go with this one. I'm going to fill in the dirt and uh, pack it in tight. You can hear the water that's in it. Well, I've got it all packed back down, hole all covered up, and I used the sledge 
to pack it really well. Let me get this uh, covered up here. The wife has already asked me what I'm planning over here, and uh, I said it was going to be one of those uh, one of those new copper pencil plants. And uh, let me cover it up before I attract too much attention. Well, I think that's going to work nicely. I may even uh, may even pull this off. This is uh, one of the three I plan on putting in, but I'm going to start with one. And let me show you what I plan to put on that ground rod. This here is what I plan on using. All of this came from DX Engineering. You could probably get it other places too. This right here will go around the copper rod and hardware all of that comes with it it's this model right here and for the the surge I'm using these uh, from Alpha Delta they're uh, I think I got the ones rated for over 200 watts the, the ones for a little bit larger but anyways that that's what it is all of it came from DX engineering and it all comes with all the hardware so, uh, hey, the ground rod went well. Uh, this is next. Also got some new coax too, so uh, I'm going to try to do this one right. Okay, I have completely finished the project, so uh, let me take you down to the ground rod and we'll follow it out to the antennas. Okay, I've got a small plastic uh, bucket here that I'm using for extra water protection but as you see there's the ground rod uh, a little bit of time has passed uh, since I've gotten the coax and everything run but I've got two alpha deltas here uh, and two lines of coax coming up with all the uh, the black gooey waterproofing stuff on them I'm coming up and then straight out into my window with a RG8X. I'm probably going to replace this a little bit later on, but for HF it's doing pretty good. And the bucket goes right on top for added protection and stays right there. Let's follow the coax on out to the antennas. Okay, I've got uh, two runs of LMR 400 type coax uh, directly buried in the ground run from the ground rod so let's uh, follow it out I put it about six inches deep kind of close to the wall so we can still plant some stuff this spring and it goes under my fence right there let's go to the other side from the other side it just passes through here like I said about six inches in the ground maybe a little more and it goes all the way to this point right here and just comes directly out of the ground and I use this flower pot here to uh, place right in front of it so I don't get a uh, weed eater happy but uh, from this point I run it both lines of, uh, of the coax are going up the pole and uh, in some uh, in a little bit of conduit here and uh, out over here this is the point that I wanted to uh, bring the coax to this is another one of my uh, homemade antenna towers or whatever you might call I've got a video on that I built a second one because I needed one on this side of the yard and the coax goes up to the infed half wave box and kindly over to my neighbor's treetop uh, thankful for that because the yard's just not quite big enough another view of the uh, 
homemade tower I've got here going up to the infed halfway box but this other antenna you see here is a Mako 5 8 wave and that's totally dedicated to the 10 meter band and I have been impressed with that antenna and having a lot of fun with it on the 10 meter band especially with the band conditions but uh, I'm gonna do a review on that antenna real soon Well, there you have it, a relatively easy way to uh, sink a ground rod without having to rent any uh, expensive tools or anything. Again, I live in Georgia, uh, depending on your soil and your area, your, your mileage may vary, but uh, it worked for me. And uh, on another thoughts, not intended to be a, a video about grounding, oh my goodness. Uh, you can ask 10 hams about grounding and probably get 11 answers, so uh, hey. But this is a start. You need to sink something in the ground uh, to get started. I plan on putting two more ground rods six feet apart and, uh, and, and just keep on advancing in the grounding process. So, uh, well, there you have it. If you liked it, uh, hit the like and subscribe. If you got some comments or anything, uh, put them down below and uh, we'll look at them. Uh, appreciate you watching. I'm Steve, 84XT73.